In this problem, we need to design an algorithm that prints the longest path from the root to a node. Well, the trick here is a little bit applying is uh, to apply reasoning skills. Let's say if we are at the root, then where will be the longest path? Will it be to the left or to the right? Well, let's look at our children go and pee and look up their heights. Height of the subtree rooted at go is stored at, uh, at uh, node go. So this height would be 1, 2, 3. So height of the subtree rooted at go is 3. And the height of the subtree rooted at p is 1, 2, 3, 4 and it is stored at this node. So if low is our current node and the height of the left subtree is 3 and the height of subtree is 4, then the longest path would be to the right of low. So we move back, move to the P as our current node. At P we can also compare height of the left child and the right child. Height of the left subtree is 1 to 3 is greater than height of the right subtree. That means that we probably need to go to the left to find the longest path. And so on. And while we are looking for the longest path, we are printing the current nodes on the paths. So go to the left, now we're going to the right, now we reach the bottom we need to determine our termination condition. When do we stop our recursive call? Well, uh, when you have, for example, at this point, height of the left subtree will return you minus 1, and height of the right subtree will return minus 1, when the heights are equal, go to the left. So we're going to the left, left node is null, when we reach null, we do not need to print anything because there is node when pointer is null. So we just reach on. Let's see. 